Hello, my sweet students. I'm going to go over stealing a cannonball with you. And this is our last story in the book. It starts on page 118. Now, make sure you read over the vocabulary. A desire is a wish. To possess is to own. Construction is a building. Now, a dry dock is a dock used for building and repairing ships. So they pull the ship out of the water and put it in dry dock. Now, a vault is an underground storage room, and um, shinny is field hockey played with sticks and balls. So this is a story called Stealing a Cannonball. So you read over this story with you, uh, with your, your mom or your dad or by yourself, and then we'll go over page 122 together. If you've not read the story, go ahead and read it and push pause, and then we'll go over the questions. The questions are on page 122. All right, if you're ready to go over the questions on page 122 about stealing a cannonball. Henry Ward Beecher, the son of a pastor, was a pastor of a large church during the 1800s. So a pastor, that's like a preacher, right? No doubt he was reared to obey the Bible. Now, reared means he was raised or taught to obey the Bible, but he failed to heed the scriptures when he saw something he really wanted. So he was tempted. Uh, page 122, the first question, was the boy right when he said that it was no sin to steal from the government? Well, no, that's not right. Stealing is wrong, isn't it? So the answer is no. Number two, why did he think that the ball now weighed 24 pounds? The longer he carried it, the heavier it seemed to be. Question number three, instead of giving the ball away, what should the boy have done with it? Well, he should have returned the ball to the shipyard and confessed that he stole it. That would be the right thing to do. And question number four, what lesson did the boy learn through his experience? He learned not to steal and that it's foolish to want more than you can enjoy. Now, it tells you the page numbers here that you might want to go look back on page 121 here and 122 to find the answers. Now, there's a Bible verse on 122, and what does that verse tell us not to do? Right? It tells us we shouldn't steal, should we? All right, let's look at back, back at page 122. You see my mess I've got in the floor? I hope you don't have a mess at your house like that. But if you do, it just means you're working, right? All right, let's look back at page 122. Now, the Bible verse says, let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that me he may have to give to him that needeth. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 28. So not only should you not steal, you should work hard so you can help others. I hope you guys are doing great, and I hope that you are feeling good and working hard. And the next thing we're going to go over is Sarah Plain and Tall. Yeah, I've got my copy on my floor with all my books scattered about. I love you guys. Talk to you later.